Nicholas Culpepper, Wikipedia article audio. Nicholas Culpepper was an English botanist, herbalist, physician, and astrologer. His published books includes the English Physitien, i.e. the complete herbal, which contains a rich store of pharmaceutical and herbal knowledge, an astrological judgment of diseases from the decumbiture of the sick, which is one of the most detailed documents known on the practice of medical astrology in early modern Europe. Biography Political Beliefs Philosophy of Herbalism Legacy Examples from the English Physician Partial List of Works Culpepper spent the greater part of his life in the English outdoors cataloging hundreds of medicinal herbs. He criticized what he considered the unnatural methods of his contemporaries, writing, This not being pleasing, and less profitable to me, I consulted with my two brothers, Dr. Reason and Dr. Experience, and took a voyage to visit my mother nature, by whose advice, together with the help of Dr. Diligence, I at last obtained my desire, and, being warned by Mr. Honesty, a stranger in our days, to publish it to the world, I have done it. Culpepper came from a long line of notable people including Thomas Culpepper, the lover of Catherine Howard, who was sentenced to death by Catherine's husband, King Henry VIII. Culpepper was the son of Nicholas Culpepper, a clergyman. Culpepper studied at Cambridge, but it is not known at which college though his father studied at Queen's. He afterwards became apprenticed to an apothecary. After seven years his master absconded with the money paid for the indenture, and soon after this, Culpepper's mother died of breast cancer. Culpepper married the daughter of a wealthy merchant, which allowed him to set up a pharmacy in the halfway house in Spitalfields, London, outside the authority of the City of London at a time when medical facilities in London were at breaking point. Arguing that no man deserved to starve to pay an insulting, insolent physician, and obtaining his herbal supplies from the nearby countryside, Culpepper was able to provide his services for free. This, and a willingness to examine patients in person rather than simply examining their urine, Culpepper was extremely active, sometimes seeing as many as 40 people in one morning. Using a combination of experience and astrology, Culpepper devoted himself to using herbs to treat the illnesses of his patients. During the early months of the English Civil War he was accused of witchcraft and the Society of Apothecaries tried to reign in his practice. Alienated and radicalized he joined a train band in August 1643 and fought at the First Battle of Newbury, where he carried out battlefield surgery. Culpepper was taken back to London after sustaining a serious chest injury from which he never recovered. There, in cooperation with the Republican astrologer William Lilly, he wrote the work A Prophecy of the White King, which predicted the king's death. He died of tuberculosis in London on January 10, 1654 at the age of 37 and was buried in New Churchyard, Bethlehem. Only one of his seven children, Mary, survived to adulthood. Influenced during his apprenticeship by the radical preacher John Goodwin, who said no authority was above question, Culpepper became a radical Republican and opposed the closed shop of medicine enforced by the censors of the College of Physicians. In his youth, Culpepper translated medical and herbal texts such as the London Pharmacopoeia from the Latin for his master. It was during the political turmoil of the English Civil War, when the College of Physicians was unable to enforce their ban on the publication of medical texts 
that Cole Pepper deliberately chose to publish his translations in vernacular English as self-help medical guides for use by the poor who could not afford the medical help of expensive physicians. Follow-up publications included a manual on childbirth and his main work, The English Physician, which was deliberately sold very cheaply, eventually becoming available as far afield as colonial America. It has been in print continuously since the 17th century. Culpepper believed medicine was a public asset rather than a commercial secret, and the prices physicians charged were far too expensive compared to the cheap and universal availability of nature's medicine. He felt the use of Latin and expensive fees charged by doctors, lawyers, and priests worked to keep power and freedom from the general public. Three kinds of people mainly disease the people priests, physicians, and lawyers priests disease matters belonging to their souls, physicians disease matters belonging to their bodies, and lawyers disease matters belonging to their estate. Culpepper was a radical in his time, angering his fellow physicians by condemning their greed, unwillingness to stray from Galen and their use of harmful practices such as toxic remedies and bloodletting. The Society of Apothecaries were similarly incensed by the fact that he suggested cheap herbal remedies as opposed to their expensive concoctions. Culpepper attempted to make medical treatments more accessible to laypersons by educating them about maintaining their health. Ultimately his ambition was to reform the system of medicine by questioning traditional methods and knowledge and exploring new solutions for ill health. The systematization of the use of herbals by Culpepper was a key development in the evolution of modern pharmaceuticals, most of which originally had herbal origins. Culpepper's emphasis on reason rather than tradition is reflected in the introduction to his complete herbal, though his definition of reason was not that different from the romantic philosophies of the era presenting nature as refuge. He was one of the most well-known astrological botanists of his day, pairing the plants and diseases with planetary influences, countering illnesses with nostrums that were paired with an opposing planetary influence. Combining remedial care with Galenic humoral philosophy and questionable astrology, he forged a strangely workable system of medicine, combined with his singles' forceful commentaries, Culpepper was a widely read source for medical treatment in his time. Culpepper's translations and approach to using herbals have had an extensive impact on medicine in early North American colonies, and even modern medications. Culpepper was one of the first to translate documents discussing medicinal plants found in the Americas from Latin. His herbal was held in such esteem that species he described were introduced into the New World from England. Culpepper described the medical use of foxglove, the botanical precursor to digitalis, used to treat heart conditions. His influence is demonstrated by the existence of a chain of Culpepper herb and spice shops in the United Kingdom, India, and beyond, and by the continued popularity of his remedies among New Age and alternative holistic medicine practitioners. Nicholas is featured as main protagonist in Rudyard Kipling's story Doctor of Medicine, part of Puck of Pook's Hill series. The following herbs, their uses, and preparations are discussed in the English Physician. Citations Bibliography Anemone, as a juice applied externally to clean ulcerations, infections, and cure leprosy or inhaled to clear the nostrils, bedstraw, boiled in oil and applied externally as a stimulant, consumed as an aphrodisiac or externally raw to stimulate clotting, burdock, crushed and mixed with salt, useful in treating dog bites, and taken inwardly to help pass flatulence, an analgesic for tooth pain and to strengthen the back, cottonweed, 
boiled in lye can be used to treat head lice or infestations in cloth or clothing. Inhaled, it acts as an analgesic for headaches and reduces coughing, dittany, as an abortifacient, to induce labor, as a treatment for poisoned weapons, to draw out splinters and broken bones, and the smell drives away venomous beasts, fleabane, helps with bites from venomous beasts and its smoke can kill gnats and fleas. Can be dangerous for pregnant women, hellebore, causes sneezing if ground and inhaled, kills rodents if mixed with food, mugwort, induces labor, assists in birth and afterbirth and eases labor pains, penaroyal, strengthens the backs of women, assists with vertigo and helps expel gas, savory, help expel gas, excellent mixed with peas and beans for this reason, wood betterny, helps with falling sickness and headaches, anti-aneretic, helps sour belchings, cramps, convulsions, bruises, afterbirth and gout, and kills worms.